Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and if you haven't already clicked that subscribe button, I really recommend that you do. Uh, it helps out this channel a lot and helps uh, people see my videos, which is a good thing. Uh, but anyways, um, I had a little bit of trouble recording uh, my last episode, so I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what I did. So, I needed to make an unfired crucible, so I needed some porcelain. And porcelain's really simple to make. All you need is some clay and some bone mill. So I ended up making more clay the same way that we um, made our bucket. And then I got our crucible and I threw it inside the furnace and just toss it on in there. And then you take your crucible and you set it on top here, on top of a torch. If you have a torch, I'm sure any fire, so any fuel source will work. And then you throw cobblestone in there. So, and once you get cobblestone thrown in there, it'll start turning into lava. So I'll go ahead and throw this cobblestone in there. And I had waited, and I got a bucket of lava out of this. Um, looks like we have just enough stone in here to make a bucket of lava again. So this will eventually turn. As you see, solid volume was at a thousand. Um, that thousand will turn into 1,000 um, millibuckets, which is one bucket worth of lava. This will hold uh, 10 buckets of lava, it looks like. So um, it's kind of slow, as you can see. There's, of course, faster ways to generate lava, but we're just not there yet. Um, I do have one problem. We're going to have to figure out how to make a cobblestone generator. So this episode is definitely going to be about making a cobblestone generator because we need one fast. So one of the best ways to get blocks in here that don't burn um, is making these crafting stations. Um, the crafting stations, of course, do not burn. So they are a great, great um, thing to use for uh, making a cobblestone generator. And I think I'm going to make my generator um, over here. I'm going to probably expand expand this out. So um, we have a lot of wood. Definitely have a lot of wood. So I'm just going to move this over here. Um, and if you noticed, um, my audio may have changed a bit. I'm testing out a few new settings on my mic to just get the right um, level and minimize any echoing that is is going on. I'm in a different room than I used to record in so It's a little bit larger and there's not much stuff in here So it's it's, it's echoey echoing a bit All right, so let's figure out how we're gonna do this All right, so I'm of course I'm gonna need to get down somehow and the best way to do that is with water, but our bucket has lava in it. So can I put lava in here? Ah, but our bucket went in there. That was a complete waste. Well, I guess we're gonna have to get more clay. And I think we have, maybe we don't have any clay. Let's see. I don't I don't see anything. We do have dirt. I think we have enough dirt to possibly get us just real quick. So this is if you didn't catch my other episode on uh, how to get a bucket and how to get you know get started with infinite water. Here's a uh, simple way right here. All right, so we have 14. Three, all we need is two. Um, okay, so you set your blocks down and you hit them with the hammer. Turn into gravel, then it'll turn into um, sand and then it'll turn into dust. And dust is what you're gonna use to get clay. And I think you can get flint by hitting the uh, gravel over and over again. 
All right, we have dust. And we're going to have to wait for these buckets to fill up with water because we just don't have a bucket. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, I'll be right back after I wait for it to rain. All right, guys, so we had rained a little bit and we collected a little bit of water. Um, and while I was doing that, I went ahead and made my bucket up. So I go, I have it again. This needs to be fired. Um, then I can pull this water and get rid of it because we don't really need the water there. Um, also, while I was getting in this mob farm, I got a little silver nugget. So, just went ahead and throw that, threw that in there. This should be done. But we have a bucket again. I can just get rid of it. Or actually, I need to use it to get down right now. This I can just get rid of. Need that for dirt. Alright, so I need to make a platform down. Alright, so best way to do that you to drop it down, but how many? I don't know how many. Looks like one, two, three. That's probably fine. Just like this. We'll have to, of course, make some ladders. But for right now, this should be okay. And I'll leave the water here, it's no big deal. Gonna have to replace a few blocks. Okay, and so we need one, two. We're gonna have the water going down. Lava can be right here. Let me go ahead and move this. Okay, so water will be, or lava will be here. Hmm, how do I want this? I want the lava right here. And so it's gonna go one block down. And then this will be, will be the a regular block. This will need to be two down. And this will be where the water opposites okay I think I'm I think I've got this so let me just get rid of these blocks actually need to make more of those okay here's what I need to do I need to make 16 crafting tables that turn into crafting stations goal is to not set this place on fire. That's the goal. And if this stuff is actually fire resistant like it's supposed to be, it should work. I'm sure we're probably going to need more crafting stations, definitely. Alright, so we got that done. Now, we only have two. We're going to need one, two, three, four, or more. Alright. 
So now we can go back down. That's kind of weird. Okay, so here's the hard part. Alright, we're going to need... This is where water's going to be flowing. Lava is going to be right here. Do you believe? I'm going to have to go here. Alright, like that. But not with this. It's going to need to be this block. And this can disappear. And this, since that's going to be lava, this block also needs to be next to it. This one needs to be two down. Pretty sure. But it needs to be down here. So we're going to have to make... How's this going to work? This won't connect to that, of course. It will connect here. Oh, we just lost it. Okay, it's going to have to go like that. going to have to go just like that and then from here I can go ahead and place this right wrong let me get it okay now I got the two drop so it's going to drop down one, and that one's going to be a whole one. Okay, so let me just go up and get that block, and we should be good to go, and we'll have a cobblestone, cobblestone generator. That's looking really nice. Water and lava down here. one more perfect throw that bad boy right here that should make for a whole block get rid of this wood that would catch on fire and this Perfect. I think we're all set and ready to go. Right, so right here, the water will sit. Right here's where I will stand. Or actually, the okay. Sorry, lava goes here. C cobblestone will generate here, and right here will be the water. Okay, time to get this started. Alright, let's take our water. Actually, we need to get rid of this block, because it doesn't need to be here. Alright, let's place the water. That looks like it's doing its its thing, and cross our fingers, we don't create obsidian, because that would not be good. And cross your fingers and nothing could fire. Aha! So now we have a cobblestone generator. How awesome is that? Um, kind of worries me with it being up like that. That I could just walk into it. So I'm probably going to create something else. Man, I really don't like this being up like that. I guess that's, that's 
gonna have to be like that for right now. Hmm. Well, let's test it out. Should be able to just walk right here. Yeah, that's really scary. But now I can make cobblestone. That's awesome. And I can just, as long as it doesn't go into the lava. Nice. So now we have a way of getting some really good loot. We can start getting into ores now. So, um, I want to show you guys something real quick before I go. Because I'm about to wrap up the episode. But it's about this wooden hammer and with the cobblestone. So with the wooden hammer, um, we can kind of chuck this to the side for right now. And I think you guys remember how to make it. So we need some sticks and we of course need some wood. Let's go ahead and do this. And we need a few sticks. Okay, so we're gonna need, I believe this whole thing gets filled up or it's four, one, two, three. Two, three, and four. Let's see if that's how it's made. But I think it's yeah, it's gonna be the whole thing. So you're gonna we're gonna need nine. The four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and this thing should last us a little bit, and we'll definitely upgrade it to a stone one soon. Just so things go a little bit faster. But you just fill it up just as if you were compressing any kind of stone and you'd get a compressed wood hammer. Now it should work on regular cobblestone, I think it does, but I'm going to show you what happens when we go to compress the cobblestone. So this right here is nine cobblestone and with a normal wooden hammer it just doesn't work. Um, it'll actually break it into its normal pieces. But with this, it'll turn it all into gravel. And then you can just take it and we can go ahead and sift it. Sift all this gravel. Just like that. Um, also, there is a compressed sieve that we're gonna make in the next episode. And uh, in that compressed sieve, it'll let you put compressed blocks into it. But for right now, we don't need to get into the compressed stuff because we're not making enough, um, we're not producing enough cobblestone to start doing that. Um, and eventually we'll get into the auto sieves and stuff like that. So we got us some broken tin, some more iron, um, some lapis, which is real good because we're gonna need lapis soon. So that's awesome. We'll just throw this on in here. Um, and we also got flint and coal. Nice. So we're going to throw these in here. And I forgot I had clay in there. Alright. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. Any of that support will do this uh, series um, some help. And um, also you can follow me on Twitter. Um, it's at Chosen Architect. And I stream every now and then on Twitch, which is... Uh, um, twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect and uh, as always thanks for watching